Hey, all you recordiacs or party people out there, whatever you want to go by. It's your host, RP. We have a really great episode for you today. Uh, But before that episode begins, I just want to shout out our brand new sponsor, Poodle Token. It's a brand new crypto token on the BSC Smart Chain. So don't hesitate. Buy in now at PoodleToken.com. That's P-O-O-D-L-T-O-K-E-N.com. This is not financial advice. Three unqualified morons and microphones. This is the previously recorded podcast. All right, welcome to Previously Recorded. I am your host, RP, as always. And this episode of Previously Recorded is brought to you by... Fuck it, Bush Light. Keep, Bush- keep it going. <laughs> Until Bush- we're sponsored, we're being sponsored by Bush Light. That's fine by me. If, if you... We'll start actually drinking Bush Light. If you need a beer and you don't have one, reach in your cooler and get you one. That's... I did one and one and one. <laughs> you rammed one with one. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impressive. I, I don't like that. All right, guys. How are we doing? Uh, I'm doing... Uh, I'm drunker than I was before the start of the last recording. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're doing a doubleheader right now. Wait, they, well, yeah. well, you can't uh, pull back the yeah, curtain. Yeah, seriously. They thought we were doing a completely different thing. All right, no. we'll... We just recorded the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We just kicked Mark out. Um, so well, if you haven't listened to that episode, yeah, go and listen. It's, yeah, it's we're, we gave him one thing to do: watch Mortal Kombat, and he fell asleep. So, <laughs> and just like a... for the record, so did I, <laughs> and I, I pushed all these recordings back so I could finish it. <laughs> so, just like your favorite Marvel movie too, there may or may not have been a little tease at the end. Um, so yeah, we are here to talk about Mortal Kombat. This is probably going to be a shorter episode than usual. Yeah. Best laid plans are, what's that saying, Bob? The best laid the best laid plans of mice and men. Maybe. Uh, three is blind whole, is, is that the whole saying? Three no, blind that's mice. That's a terrible that's, saying. That's the beginning of it. Three it's blind actually, mice. <laughs> it's actually a poem. That's uh, if that's the whole saying. That's a terrible saying. I think it's just that's best it. laid plans. You know, <laughs> burning the candle at both ends. You know. That's one of my favorite things you've ever said. <laughs> so uh yeah we are here to talk about the 2021 film mortal Kombat. box office smash shut up hit. shut up <laughs> pause with team okay go ahead <laughs> can you keep it pause for theme <laughs> should we do like three minute pause for theme yeah put the theme in like two minutes in <laughs> pause for theme but then we don't put the theme in yeah. sure uh hold on hold on the theme Need more time for the theme? No, so Shane, you were saying about this box office smash hit? Uh, it's a bo- Wait, pause for theme. Pause. Box office smash hit Mortal Kombat. And then now play the theme. Okay. So this film is not about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Uh, there is no Mortal Kombat in no. this movie. They're actually trying to get, they're try, trying to avoid Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Well, right at the end. So Shane, their little, their so tournament. Shane, you are our expert on yeah, this. Yeah, but it's not like, they said like, they don't want the tournament. Yeah. The end. Yeah, they are, they had to win 10, but they were at their ninth and they said, fuck it, we don't want to win anymore. We just want to take over. So the bad guys it, are going to take, Shane, give us a little plot synopsis. You were a uh, big, you were hyping this, this film up. I was excited yeah, for it too. I, just fucking love ridiculous video game movies. Mm-hmm. I guess basically, if if Outer World wins the tenth, then they rule. They would rule Earth. They can invade. Yeah. I think Earth, Earth World. Yeah, is what it was. Like they could. Invade so they're Earth basically the plot of the movie is them trying to stop them before the tournament starts. Yeah. So they said, "Psych, no, nah, we're going to invade yeah. anyway." Um, and that's kind of it. And they got the good guys got to stop the bad guys and. It's all of your favorite characters, all of your favorite moves, all of your favorite favorite catchphrases. Catchphrases. I did. Which Twitter hated, but I loved. I loved. So, this is my thing about these kinds of movies. Fatality. That was a great one. Flawless victory. Flawless victory. That that (laughs) might have been. Flawless victory, I think, was the most most gruesome death in the. But it was the most gruesome death in the movie. Yeah. Which one? Possibly. When he fucking spun his hat in the ground. I thought that was fatality. No, that was flawless victory. Flawless victory was when. What's that character's name? Kung Lao. Kung Lao spins his fucking hat and slices. In the ground and then rides. Natara is the one with the yeah, wings. Yeah, yeah. Rides her, her through So what, it. what was so funny about that is they hi- kind of hyped up Natara 
like in the previous scene. Yeah, she's just murdered. And they're like, like yeah, like, wink, like, yeah. And then she comes in and then she's murdered immediately. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on, on the Wait, film? Wait, was that Natar or Melina? Which one was Melina? No, was Melina, she the one with the crazy Melina's mouth? the one with the, the two daggers and she's got the mouth. In okay. the game, she always wore, she always wore like a, like a face piece, like a mask. Mm-hmm. And her finisher was, she would take the mask off and she would like, Bite, bite you, like face bite off, you, yeah, basically. like a vampire. So for for uh, the listeners who are saying like, Bob, you're a fucking idiot right now. My my mommy and daddy wouldn't let me play <laughs> Mortal Kombat when I was a kid. We weren't allowed to have it. We weren't allowed to rent it from Blockbuster. Were you allowed to play Grand Theft Auto though? Yeah. So because <laughs> wait, right, so this is, and you can ask. My, so I had to. I had to ask my brother. You, I had the flip side of that. You I, can ask my brother because like, I think Mortal Kombat was like the one that was always in the news. You know what I mean? Like, we're so, like so if you, you if you play Mortal Kombat, that equals Columbine, basically. Like, was like the basically the way that they like advertise Mortal Kombat, and so my parents were like, "You're not playing that game." So instead, we had this game. I fucking can't remember what it was called. Bloody Rain. No, but it Tekken, was for. It wasn't. No, I, I I don't remember. Like, I I've oh, never okay. seen it again. They might have done like two of them, and I know if I text my brother and I I didn't think to do it before this. He would absolutely know the name of this thing, but was it like a Mortal Kombat ripoff? Exactly, Hold it was on, like let me, let me see or, or, Orchid or something like the great. I I forget what it is, but we still didn't own that. But the kid down the street did, and we he would bring it over and we'd play that, which was like the closest thing to Mortal Kombat. He was like too poor to to get Mortal Kombat, and he would get the ripoff. So game. no, he always had nicer toys than us actually, but. So there was um so you, you're talking about like the news and stuff. There was a 1995 <laughs> Mortal Kombat live tour where they said, you know, does this show provoke violence and they were saying no, it's all about the martial arts and and the guy that they're interviewing is part of the show and you can tell they put him on the spot because he has no idea what the fuck to say. And he's saying like, oh no, you know, martial arts allows us to achieve our dreams and anything of you can think of, you can do. And yada, yada, yada. So there's a really good podcast to ride Patreon episode based on Mortal Kombat live tour from 1995. It sounds absolutely fucking bonkers. Um, so, yeah. yeah it out. might have been Killer Instinct. And I think the one character or something on it was Black Orchid. But so, so you could play GTA. No, you could play Mortal Kombat, but you couldn't play GTA. Yeah, I could play Mortal Kombat. So, yep. You're saying Goro ripping you apart limb from limb was fine, but like beating somebody up and taking the car was not. And shooting the yeah, because it was the reverse. It was exactly so what my, Bob had, yeah. where they heard all these bad things about Grand Theft Auto. So yeah. I was. I'm a little bit older, so my parents were like, "You're not ripping people's arms off, <laughs> but if you want to have sex with that prostitute in the and car, then kill her and take your money back." So the funny story about GTA, one of my favorite stories about GTA, my brother and I share a room growing up, and so <clears> this is actually a good. I even you said we said this was going to be a short episode. I already am having like I love this episode right now because like it's just us as kids being like yeah, saying you already what know we're not going to be a short exactly. episode. So RP's got to drive back to Canada. We're like he's we're, mad about we're that. older at this point. Vice City is out, so I would think my brother and I probably in high school um, mm-hmm. when Grand Theft Auto Vice City came out. That was yeah. That was PS two right. So PS two yeah. And cool. So we had Grand Theft Auto three, which was the f- right before that, and then we had Vice City. We're probably playing one of them. I forget what it is. So we'd ask for that for Christmas. My parents had got us that, I believe, for Christmas. We might have bought that on our own because we shared like our games. Santa I'd... knew you wanted to beat up hookers. I know. Well, I didn't want to beat them up, I, but they had more but money you know than what? the other people. You beat them up and you you get your money back, and you never got as much money as you paid them. That always <laughs> used to bother me. You well, gotta keep something yeah. to pay the troll toll. Always to get used to bother me. You gotta pay the troll toll to get into heaven. So we, this is a really everything. This is like that John Mulaney joke. So we're playing uh, Grand Theft Auto on a PS2 while listening to a CD. Like none of those things exist anymore. You know, <laughs> it's like one of those. And uh, we were listening to the Tenacious D album, which my my mother had all absolutely bought my brother for Christmas. Like I know for a fact that she bought him that CD for Christmas because so, he asked for it, right? So just for context, Grand Theft Auto, good. Tenacious D, good. Mortal Kombat, crossing a line. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here! Crossing yeah. a line. It's like chocolate in a candy cane factory. <laughs> um, and so my mom comes in. We shared a room. My mom comes in the room. I'm pretty sure the Tenacious D song was "You Don't Always Have to Fuck Her Hard." <laughs> uh while we're playing grand theft auto and like killing people and she goes oh this is nice 
And my brother and I both looked at her and we're like, you bought us all these things. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you've literally financed this entire operation right now. <laughs> so, like, when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, that is, like, my... I, I still laugh to this day that my mom... Like, we're us listening to Tenacious D, just, like, murdering people on a, t- on a video game, and then her being like, this is fantastic. And it's like, <laughs> hey, this is you. You, ma- you, you made See, this monster. Coming from a household where my dad literally took me and James to see Blade 2 in theaters. Nothing was off limits. It was just free for all. You want to play Mortal Kombat and rip people apart? Have at it, buddy. So I was not allowed to play GTA, but I did in my neighbor's house. But I was allowed to see The Matrix. And when I was in first grade, I wrote about how I love to go see the R-rated Matrix movie in theaters. So I got, I did get in trouble for that. <laughs> um, what is... But, what, what, it's just, while what, I would love... To discuss our childhood favorite games. I have a question though about the what? Yeah. what what's the R rating in in the Matrix? Like, what is it? Just the Think violence? Action. Just the violence. violence? Okay, I just didn't know if there was. There was. Violence. I remember in the Matrix Reloaded, there was a sex scene. That yeah, and the, my dad, the, the original Matrix. So my dad leaned over and he just said. You're not gonna tell your mom about this, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that was do you all? Think if was... the Matrix came out now, it would still have the R rating? Because like the no. violence isn't that bad. It's so got it would be yeah, rated all. I don't know because I was well, watching it all. We will know. Gory. Hey, we will know. Come December when the Matrix Four comes out. That was also there was a video game made that. from that movie that I really liked. Uh, but we are here to discuss Mortal Kombat the game. So I the only Mortal Kombat game, just real quick before we get into the movie, a, a review of the movie that I remember owning and playing was Mortal Kombat vs DC. Yeah, I, I remember on PS3. Did that used to be an arcade type game, or am I thinking Mortal of Marvel Kombat versus Capcom? Capcom yeah, Mortal well, Kombat versus they Capcom. both were. Arc- <gasps> I think they both were first arcade games. Yeah, Mortal Kombat versus DC sounds sick. I didn't even know they existed. Yeah, it was cool. I was never a big I... fighting game guy. I'm not either. I wasn't. I wasn't really either. But I don't know something about Mortal Kombat. Just like learning all the finishers and doing that. Like I, we, Johnny we also, Cage punching people in the nuts. We also used to play um, um, Tekken. Growing up, I don't like tech. I was a Street Fighter was guy. Like, I was a big Hadouken. See, Hadouken. I, 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 I so, wasn't. I never played Street at the arcade. Fighter. I didn't own it. I I played played you were not allowed to own it. No, I played. So, I played Mortal Kombat at the arcade. If my parents gave me the quarters and I could run away. Yeah. <laughs> this tenacious D story is great. Uh, <laughs> this, like, fuck oh, her. this. This is really nice. You can, and you guys have both met my yep. mom, so you can see her saying it like in yep. that phrase. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. So. So, uh, I wasn't a Mortal Kombat kid, because uh, I while watching the movie, I did have to look up the characters. I'm like, this is familiar, blah, blah, blah. I played this game on GameCube called Bloody Rain, and it was spelled like R-A-Y-N. It's the same thing. Yeah, but that's they, like, another knockoff. But it was like, they turned into, like, they were kind of like Animagus. So, they turned into, okay. Google the game. It's called Bloody Rain. R-A-Y-N? I N, I think, or N E. Blood Rain. Maybe that was it. Yeah, it's Blood Rain. And there's a uh, picture of a chick a, on the there, cover. Uh, there's a bunch of these, and there's also a movie. Oh, there's a movie. 2005 film Blood oh, Rain. Oh man, let me see. Horror action. I think it's different. Now this is a vampire no, thing. Yeah, they were like kind of vampire-y. Ben Kingsley's in it. Michelle Rodriguez is in it. Boys, I think I found our next. We got yeah, we got. It's on Tubi. On it's on Tubi. Um, we, we can figure this out. It came out January fourth. Came out right around my birthday, two thousand six. No, nah, that's not it. That's not it. Blood Rain Termin- Terminal Cut. No. Nope. The girl with a gun. No, she didn't have a gun. It was a fighting game. It, it was nope. Maybe I have it mixed mixed up. Yeah, maybe it's another game you played for P- for GameCube, right? Yeah. Blood Rain for GameCube is a girl with like a dagger on the cover. She yeah. looks like a vampire. Is this what you're looking at? Yeah, that wasn't it. What That's the fuck was this game called? Bloody Roar. Bloody Roar. Oh my god. Now we don't have a movie to watch. There might be. Uh, yeah, Bloody Roar. That's what it was for called. For GameCube. Was... Alright, Bloody There's Roar multi- for GameCube. Bloody Roar Primal Fury. Oh, absolutely just straight up. I like that they, after Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, like, yeah, I'm looking at it too. Like, that whole just style of fighting games was, like, everything was that. 
Like there was a Ninja yep. Tur- or there was a uh, Power Rangers one. There was so you literally fought in this game. You were like a you could be like a human fighting a, a fucking jaguar, like a beefed up jaguar. I'm looking at a great game. Up jaguar. I would you know, I get it from hated, Blockbuster all the time. I hated all these games <laughs> except I loved Soul Calibur for GameCube. Uh, I know I was never a Soul Calibur person. Loved Soul Calibur. I don't know why, but anyway. Mortal Kombat, the OG. So, have any, either of they you made guys... A mo- they made a movie. <laughs> have you guys seen the original Mortal Kombat movies? Yes, yeah. but like once, not the, a long time ago. The I never first have. one, I used to like, and I'd watch all of even though it was like, it was like corny, yeah. and the CGI was terrible. The second one, not so much, kind of sucked. The second one, I definitely watched once, it does suck. Yeah. Uh, the first one, I might have seen a couple times. first one is kind of more like nostalgia- where I'm like, oh, I used to watch this when I was younger. Yeah. But now they're, watching it again, it's not great, but... They're, it's just a tough concept to make a movie. Like, I wouldn't think this would be something yeah. to make a movie. See, because that one is, is like... It it's is an actual a, tournament. It is a tournament. Yeah. Where it's just a bunch of them battling. But is and then that Shang Tsung would come in and, so and steal their soul. So the interesting but thing... But is that about, one rated R? Yes. So the interesting thing about that is the, the screenwriter or the co-screenwriter also wrote Shang-Chi for the new one. Mm-hmm. And he put a tournament in Shang Chi, but no tournament in Mortal Kombat. It's just like kind of strange. Wait, what? Oh, uh, he's the same screenwriter, and there's a tournament. Yeah, so it. it but I don't think like... they. I think I think no. So the the old one was PG thirteen. Oh, which well, is a PG-13. game, but it's a game. Nineteen ninety five PG thirteen is it's not different. There's no way they're doing the shit they were doing in this because the CGI wasn't there anyway. That's true. That's on Peacock though. We could definitely watch that. Yeah, again. we could. Um. So, going into this, I didn't have... My expectations were super low. It's a video game movie. I didn't even watch the trailers. I know you guys did, and I tried to get us to get this movie mm-hmm. early, but we couldn't. Um, I enjoyed it. I, for what it was... Can it was, we talk, before we even get into the movie, about how we could get the Snyder Cut early, but we couldn't get Mortal Kombat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just how ridiculous that is? It is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I feel like... But more people... I have more people watch Mortal Kombat. I don't know, but Mortal more Kombat did pretty well. Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, they did. Or Godzilla versus Kong. Which I think, I don't know, Mortal Kombat did really well the weekend. It's for opening weekend, $22 million at the box office. I don't know. It's, it's on HBO Max. It's a, This is definitely a pop, just like Godzilla vs. Kong was better, but this is definitely a popcorn movie where you're just like, I don't give a fuck about the plot. HBO Max is crushing it with those movies with this yeah. whole like release thing, and it's, I'm not mad about it. A lot of, like... I feel like if this would have came out earlier in quarantine too, it probably would have done better. I don't know that I more would more people go, have nothing to do. I don't know that I would pay to go see this. I, That's what I no no. But 100%, I mean like percent. I a hundred percent would not have paid. I to think see this. I think if Shane said I want to see Mortal Kombat, I would have went with him. Yeah. Yes, I would. Have. But and I'm, I would have had like, an issue with it. But it's not what would have been like if this came out. But on also, HBO Max, you know. That Shane would not say that. Shane no. would probably have waited for but, it to come but out. But we were you know all, no, no, Mortal Kombat I absolutely would have seen. Really? But we were yes. all excited about it HBO Max wise. Like, Shane and I were excited about it HBO Max wise. Yeah. If it was like Mortal Kombat comes out next month, I was like, I'll wait for it to come on a streaming <laughs> service. You know what I mean? Like, they <laughs> would have been one of those That's what I movies. said to Audrey. I said, I'll probably watch that on HBO I've already Max. seen it, and I'll still, if you want to go see it in theaters, I'll still go pay I to don't, see it. I don't want to pay to see it. I might go by myself. I, 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 wanna... I got sleepy. I'd go with you. I, <laughs> but what I'm saying I, is, is. I went back. I, I caught up with everything. It's definitely a movie for the theater, though. This is definitely a movie you, you well, if yeah. you can and it's you want to. It's a mindless film. Like, if you go into this movie, movie it's the same thing that we said i think yeah if i recall I've, I've, if i, I, said if I recall correctly many times for godzilla versus kong because yeah. i was in a state um <laughs> bob was very sick that episode yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was getting over something um <laughs> <laughs> he was very sick yeah. uh, <laughs> with, with alcoholism um i don't remember i, I don't remember what i was saying you gotta, you oh, gotta exp- if you go into this saying yeah. like all right i want the most ridiculous shit to happen which is what you need to ask for in a mortal Kombat See, movie. i want minimal plot enough to make it make sense See, but I don't need it to be, like, fucking perfectly tied together. That's how I went in this movie. I'm like, I want them to say their catchphrases. I want them to do their actual finishers. Like, we talked about Kung Lao with the spinning hat. The fact that they... That was an actual from the game. Oh, yeah. He would throw the hat on the ground, and then he would ride you into it like a saw. The fact that they did actually say their their finishers 
was hilariously cheesy to be like this yeah. movie also teetered the line. But I As still love it. Like, what Scorpion's line. line where he's, get over get here. Get over here. here. And then he says it at the end. And I was like, oh, yeah. man. And like no, a like, huge. If you're, but if you're invested in the movie at that point, it's like a huge scene. And then he drops the video game line. And I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, I forgot it was Mortal Kombat. Like, like, <laughs> I think his name was Cole. Um, yeah, Cole. He's, he's, a he's, he's a new character. He's a new character. He's fighting Sub-Zero. Cole Young. And you see, like, Sub-Zero's about to finish him off. And you see the, 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 the this dagger go through his arm. And I'm like. Oh, he's gonna say it, isn't he? Because <laughs> it takes a couple seconds. He's like, "Get over here!" I'm like, "Yeah." yeah. He said it. Shane fucking was staying and not be throwing shit. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking said it. <laughs> yeah, I, I. This movie was better than I expected. I honestly, me too. I I enjoyed a lot of it. Um, there was like 20 minutes in the middle that I think was pretty slow. Like was, when they get like to right the Cole when they went to his, Raiden's uh, temple, his power. Yes. Yeah, when they went to that's where I fell asleep. When yeah, they went yeah, to Raiden's yeah. temple, I went back and I caught myself up. But I, for the record, when I fell asleep, watch. So I literally watched the movie today. RP said we were, we were, Shane already let the cat out of the bag. We recorded another episode today. <laughs> RP said, like, told Mark who was just on our last episode and was like, hey, watch Mortal Kombat, and I was like. Hold your horses. Like, I also have not watched Mortal Kombat. <laughs> For the record, it was your idea, which you were... I know, but I, I just... I was <laughs> drunk when I came up with it. So you're like, like, I will... You're like, I'm definitely watching. You're like, well, look at me. It, like, nah. I'm definitely watching it Monday. I plan on watching like, it on, on Monday. That's and not then, so, he, so, no, so It's and, Wednesday. <laughs> so, so, Sunday... Sunday... I'll give you the rundown of my week. I don't care. Sunday, I had... I married people on Sunday. Like, mm-hmm. I was performed a wedding on Sunday. And I got home later than I expected, and so Monday was. I mean, not that it was a big deal, but like Monday, Monday's this whole Monday. week, I've just been exhausted, right? Yeah. And so like Monday, I fell asleep, and like, like after work, I went, I fell asleep for like two hours, and then I think I just like watched the Phillies game, and then I was like, yeah, that's fuck, what I, I should have watched Mortal Kombat. And then yesterday, Tuesdays are always busy for me, so then I was like, all right, let me see if I can watch it today. And so I start watching, and today I was exhausted again for no reason at all. I was tired all. today, too. And I think it's just, like, allergies. Like, you know, when it's, Changing like, allergy season, it starts, like, making me tired. Yeah, they've been kicking my ass. And so I, was, I, I, I start watching it. I was super into it, and they get to, uh, that's how, that's they get to Raiden's it, Temple, and I couldn't it does, keep it my does, eyes open. It drags right so there. So when, when they got to that point, I paused it, got up, took the dog out, did the dishes, and then I came back. Because I, like, I was like, to Audrey, she went out. I was like, oh, man, I'm like, this, this movie's... She's like, is it good? I was like, this movie's it's like, really good. And then I got to that, and I was like, it's like I don't non-stop, even want to finish it. Nonstop action. They get the Raiden's Temple with drags, and then it's nonstop action. So, yeah, so then when the I put it back on, it was like probably like 10 minutes. And then it was like back to fucking being yeah. So I think my like favorite part of the movie was the beginning when Sub-Zero shows up in... Mm-hmm. In like, like present Japan. day, no uh, present, present day, oh, when he's, and he running. fucks up Jack. He's just freezing and everything. He's just freezing and, everything. Yeah. And, like he the was snow stars. Awesome. See, I got excited for that right away because Jax in the original movie doesn't have the metal arms. Mm-hmm. He gets him in. I'm pretty sure he gets him in the second movie. Yeah. So like right away had, they're like, freezing his arms, and I'm like, I'm like Metal Jax, let's fucking go. <laughs> I like so when they... Jax had like the little kind of like chicken arms before he like. What are you doing with those? So, <laughs> so the premise of the movie is that anybody who has this "quote unquote" birthmark, it's this Mortal Kombat sign. Means you're like chosen. It shows to be that in you're tournament. Yeah, you're chosen to be like one of Earth's defenders, yeah. and you typically have some power. So, there's multiple Earth champions, and one of them is is um, Jax, who is the who is the guy from Supergirl. He had metal arms that apparently super, his super have... whose superpower was that his arms just upgrade. Which yeah. I just thought his arms just upgraded, but Marvel was like, "Is that his power?" Yeah, I guess that's his power. Cole Young is the one that ha- we don't know. That's the main guy that we follow. He's new for K- the movie. Kano. Kano was pretty great. Kano. He's probably the best character is in the movie. Always right? the best character. So in I everything. saw. He's yeah. fucking so hilarious. I saw this thing today online. It was that the actor who played Kano mm-hmm. was hospitalized for. A back injury from carrying, carrying the movie. The movie. <laughs> he's a he's like an Australian like comedian. Yeah, too. he was he's great. Like the scene where he gets his laser eye, where he's basically just going on a rant. Yeah, like, he's like, telling oh, everyone to go fuck, fuck himself yeah. is like my favorite. Scene. Yeah, he was like, oh fuck yeah, look at that was, laser eye, like whatever he says, it's great. You all saw that. <laughs> ah, laser beam, better than fireballs, you pussy. <laughs> Come on, Kano. 
And I really like the girl. Sonya Blade? Sonya. I thought she sucked. The blonde? Yep. You didn't like her. I liked looking at her. I didn't think yeah. she was a good actress. <laughs> well, that's besides Once the point. Once they got to Rain and Sample, she got better. When they were, like, when she he first got to her, like, little trailer and all the stuff with Kana there, I was like, she's kind of like, she was, like, annoying me. Like, it was, she was very... She, I, when they walked her into her... acting wasn't great. When they walked into her trailer, it was, like, the Charlie meme. Like, with all the, like, connecting the yeah. dots. I was laughing well, when she was, that. like, offering him $3 million, like, you don't have $3 million. And she was like, you don't know. Any, and he's like, you're going to give him $3 million? She's like, I don't have $3 million. And she's like, I, like, she where that, I live? That, her delivery of that line, which should have been a really good line, was yeah. not good. Mm. Talking about it made me laugh. I think your delivery was better. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, <laughs> I Kat's wish. New, I did. That's why they wouldn't give us the screener. Ah, uh, because you were in the yeah, movie. Yeah, it's a complicated spoiler. Big spoiler. I signed a, uh, what are they called? NDA. NDA, NDA yeah. So... That's basically what the main I thing know, is. So, I'm, s- I'm so non-disclosing anything. I don't even remember what the agreement was. <laughs> <laughs> so Sonya doesn't wants powers the whole time. It doesn't. She has the opportunity to kill Kano. Who, who, which th- I have a problem with this. They drop uh, in the middle of the desert in like jeans and like leather jackets with no water and uh, like it did. It fucking these movies, man. Yeah, hey, you're right. Have, that, you know, they have superpowers, RP. Like, oh, wait, so, you know, if, before we even get to that, because this kind of bothered me. They I fought a literal it's... giant reptile. Yeah, that's true. Who I was telling Bob, reptile in the game was like a ninja. Like, um, wait, they did? Yeah, and yeah, the reptile in, like, they, in, the, in the trailer. In the trailer. You, you spit an asset at them. The, like the, the smoke reptile in the trailer. Yeah. That's how Kano gets out of his shackles. Oh shit! Yes, yes. So the in, the, in the movie, yep. he's like a ninja type, like um like scorpion and um sub-zero and like he would for a finisher he would take the mask off and it would be like a like a reptile and he would like bite mm. your face but in this they made him an actual reptile that's cool but so in the very beginning of the movie when sub-zero comes the part that you like when it's like right before it starts snowing so the girl that tapes up cole young and she's like i don't watch him fight anymore i was like i don't know who that is she looked older than cole young and then she walks over, and the other girl looked too old to be Cole Young's daughter, who was in the corner. And so I was like, oh, that's his little sister or something like that. Uh-huh. And then she was like, the girl, they say, like, she girl comes to, like, the burger place after he loses the fight. And she's like, hey, mom, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, oh, that makes sense. That's their mom. And then she leans over and kissed Cole Young. And I was like, I'm very fucking confused <laughs> right now. <laughs> Yeah, like, no, it's very it's like confusing. The, the daughter was too old to be his little sister. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Too. Or to be his, his daughter. daughter. I, thought it, so like, I thought it was his little sister. Well, I mean, he probably yeah. had her young. Cole, she wasn't old enough to be his mom, but like, they do that shit in movies. Yeah. That made more sense than Cole having... Young. This whole movie, I could not care less about. Now, yeah, I didn't really care about him either. So I, I like the guy like though. I like the guy. I didn't mind him. Like, like the, the actor, actor Louis. No, I was just like, I was whatever. Like, I thought his power was kind of dumb. I didn't like his. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to become Scorpion. That's what I thought. I kind of expected that too. Because of, like they they kept showing. But then also the uh, guy also, that they had playing his grandfather Hanzo was actually like. I like that. He's guy. kind of like a big actor. Yeah, I don't, no, I, I, don't, I forget what I know him from, but yeah, he's in a ton of stuff. I'll look so up. Hanzo on, shows up now. in the beginning of the movie. And Sub Zero fights him then, and, yeah. and so that's like sixteen, seventeen, and then you jump to present Wolverine day. So Sub is probably the big thing. You that's know. probably yes, he it. is in Wolverine. So Sub Zero's been around forever. So because like oh, and, he's we- in the be- and Westworld, he's in the beginning of the movie, and I'm like, mm. they, they they're not just gonna have him be a throwaway. Yeah, he's like yeah. A, he's like I the biggest actor in the movie. Avengers Endgame. So I thought that this, oh yeah, he's the he's the guy Ronan fights. So right, the, that's that's every I he's from. a big time Asian actor. Yeah. So. Like I said, my thoughts going in this movie were were, lo- were my expectations were low, and I feel like they were my expectations. Ex- they That's, succeeded. It's the my, best way to go in one of these movies. You gotta have low expectations, and you gotta expect it, it to a, be a ridiculous video. It game was movie. a dumb mortal. It was a it's, dumb video game movie that a, was yeah. really enjoyable. It's the Fast and the Furious mentality that the three of us have had for the last six it's, Fast and the Furious movies. Mm-hmm. I know that it's fucking stupid. It's the same reason I love the Resident Evil movies. Yeah. It's like. It's based off a video game. It's going to be fucking yeah. stupid. I'm going to go I know in. that. I love them. I feel like gonna... this is one of the better video game movies, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's because... There's they... definitely been worse. Uh, for Personally, I'm a big fan of Prince of Persia. And people hate that. But I actually really enjoy Jake that Gyllenhaal. movie. Jake But I'm a big Gyllenhaal fan. And, I'm a huge Gyllenhaal fan. Uh, but I think it's because Mortal Kombat said... And the, the first one 
did the same thing, but it was more like actual martial <clears throat> arts and not like just gruesome shit. I feel like they said, hey, all right, we're going to kind of make a plot, but our goal is just to be as fucking ridiculous as humanly possible. Yeah. Like That's what they said. There was like this c- clear line to teeter with giving fan service and then also making a good movie. It was like 50-50 fan service versus, hey, let's just make I mean, it. Like the, like the fact like, yeah. that they actually said, like, flawless victory. And, they, and you, <laughs> it like, were so like, and it was so unnecessary because nobody would say that. But then you were like, all right, that's pretty cool. The one thing I didn't like, I know you, you have you seen the original movie? I don't think so. The way the way Shang Tsung in the original movie says your soul is mine is way better than the way this dude says it, mm. which I don't know, just bothered me when I was watching it because he didn't really put any, he put didn't put anything into the delivery. Mm-hmm. He's just like he's like your souls are mine, but like the dude in the in the original movie, every time there was a tournament and somebody would lose, he would like. Really put his all into this into this line. <laughs> Wait, so I knew I knew the guy who played Shang Tsung. He's from Dark Knight. He's yeah. Lao. He's the accountant. Yeah, he's he Lao. Was Lao. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he so, did, he did not fit the role he played. No, no, I, I didn't like him with long hair. Yeah, he, he looked, looked weird with long hair, right? I he thought so goofy. too. He looked like Photoshop. He looked like, if you go, if you like back, a kooky Facebook personality. If you go back and look at Shang Tsung from the original like ninety five movie, he's he looks amazing. Would you say he looked like a kooky Facebook personality? He kind of does look like a kooky Facebook personality. When yeah, I, I saw know we him. have a couple of those that follow us. <laughs> when I saw him, my first thought was, this guy's a kooky Facebook personality. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not Shang Tsung. Yeah. That's just a kooky Facebook personality. So, I, I think this movie did that's a That's an inside joke that their listener gets. They will maybe one day get it. <laughs> Marvel would get it, but I don't think he listens. <laughs> um. So I think this movie did a really good job of what it was supposed to do, yeah. and it, it had a slow point. But what what point does not does a movie I, not? The, the acting was inc- like, but the, I mean I don't care. The acting I feel I like I'm not going to this to be like oh man, but I feel they're like never going to win the Golden Globe. Movie's like, not getting yeah. any Oscars. But I feel like, like the acting was better in this movie than it needed to be. Uh Sonya Blade not good. <laughs> Kung Lao not good. No, um, but they're clearly like I like the fire I feel guy. Like they're Who's in the fire that, guy? Uh, Luke Kang. Luke Kang. I, I feel like, like they were in it for the martial arts, though. Like they don't. Mm, they're yeah. not casting those people to be like, "Oh, you're a great actor." They're casting yeah. martial Liu artists. Luke Kang, amazing. So Kano, amazing. Yeah. So th- Sub Zero, Cole Young was there. Like, oh, oh, you know Sub-Zero what? I did have movie. an issue. I thought of something while I was watching, and they did explain it to an extent, but I still was like, he, he, he could have done a better job. They're in Raiden's temple. They all show up. Everybody's getting their fucking asses kicked. And Raiden is nowhere at all. Yeah. And then he comes back. He's like, I can't get involved. But then he's like, putting them wherever they want them to, to put them. <laughs> like, he's like, I'll transport you where you wherever you want to go. Like, mm-hmm. You could have easily just like not kept them in that temple while they were getting their asses kicked. <laughs> like, that's an easy fix. I liked Raiden, too. I, I feel like this, I do feel like this movie would have been better off just being a Scorpion uh, and Sub-Zero movie. And like a prequel to mm-hmm. the Mortal Kombat which they obviously are setting us up because Sub Zero. They're doing three, right? I think there's four. There's you signed four. on for four. There's going to be more Scorpion coming up, definitely. Yeah. Sub-Zero, which that was there's no way Sub Zero is dead. Either, no, right? he was so cool. Yeah. But Sub Zero in the in the in the game, I remember, comes back all black. His because as he was as they showed him burn at the end of the movie, he comes back in an all black costume. Sub Zero cool. also never did his signature finisher. Just the is, ice. He freezes you. He rips your head off, and then he throws your head at your body, and like it all shatters. Yeah, doesn't he pull so the, like, the the skeleton, or is that scorpion? No, that's the, they pull the spine out. Yeah, I forget who does that. It's not. I don't think it's Sub Zero though. Mm. But I feel like we're robbed because he never did that. That's a, amazing. Like we got oh, Kung Lao's finisher back. with the spinning hat. Mm-hmm. I need to see Sub Zero ripping someone's head off and shattering their body with it now. So I feel like he's gonna come back. Was Kano the rip the rip your heart out guy? Yes, he did that in the movie. I know, but I'm saying in the game. I would assume so. They would just give it to. I feel like I feel like that doesn't fit his character to be the no. rip your heart out guy. But he, I mean, maybe they the made the way he did it in the movie made sense. See, he, uh, yeah, I know, I, I, don't, I don't remember all their finishers, but I feel like he shouldn't be able to because he just has the the laser. Like that's like, like a Goro, like like 
I feel like Goro used to rip you apart, though. But I'm saying like, I feel like that fits like that like, kind of character. Goro, I feel like he would. He's pick, the, he the would two pick arms, you up right? Yeah, the four yeah. arms yeah. off your body. You have two arms. He has four. Arms. <laughs> 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 Goro's that two-arm guy. Forgive me. It's a, it's a late it's a late night. Two sets of arms. I, I wanted to let it go. No, was, that was funny. It was too good of a chance. Goro is um, that guy with two arms and two legs, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I out there walking around like a person. I like this movie. And I recommend it. I recommended it to somebody I work with. Um, I recommend it if you have two hours and you don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I definitely think another episode down the pipeline is maybe revisiting video games of our childhood. Or video games that you would want to be a movie, maybe? Well, that I was think Video my... games that you weren't allowed to watch because your mommy didn't understand. <laughs> Wait. But she'd let you listen to <laughs> fuck me <laughs> she'd gently. Let you, tenacious D. you don't always have to fuck her hard. Hard, something. that's it, yeah. Um... Yeah, what would you give this movie? One out of ten. What would you give it? Mm. Forty-five out of that's ten. A, that's a hard. <laughs> that's a hard sell. All right. Love so like, this movie. 40... You give it a percentage. I give it a solid like six point five. It's not. It's not like the best movie ever made, but like. So it, that's a higher rating than the Snyder cut. So if I'm gonna go, cr- if, yeah, yes. if, I'd rather do. I'd say it's a six point point five, and I think that's actually where it might be where it's at on IMDb because I've had their IMDb page open <clears> to remember names. I'd give it a seven because it's it was six no, it was it was six, Kano. Kano six, was the heart rip. Okay, six point three. So that's accurate. So that's a yeah. Good, uh, all right. I'd this say movie s- was 100% accurate. All right, so never mind. It goes from a 6.5 to an 11. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one goes to 11. This I give it a 6.6 for movie <laughs> for video game accuracy. So I this think. is a movie that I gave a 7 because this is a movie that I typically probably wouldn't give a shit about. And they made me care about it. So I mean, here's my problem with giving it like an out of 10 rating, right? Because like if I went into this movie with I don't give a fuck expectations... So if I give it like a seven, and then I go into a movie that I really have high expectations for, and I'm a little disappointed, I might give that a seven. You know what I mean? So yeah. Like, no. Yeah. So I, I, I'd love. Here's how I'll say this movie. This is like a, a critics three, or like a, a critics thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes, in my opinion. And it's probably like a fan, like eighty five percent on Rotten. So Tomatoes. it's like an Adam Sandler movie. Exactly. Like <laughs> if you're if you're just watching a movie to watch a yeah. movie, it's it's entertaining enough. See, for if me, you're was... watching a movie because you want fucking like substance in your life. Then see, for me, keep going moving. going into it with like so much that's no expectations. that's not far off. Rotten Tomatoes fifty five, audience score eighty seven. All right, pretty... so I'm actually a meaner critic than, uh, <laughs> than the others, I guess. Going into this with no expectations, but like growing up playing the games and being a fan, I, like the ridiculous shit where like if I wasn't this big of a fan and they like saying all their catchphrases, I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Me, I was like, I was like, yeah, well, yeah, I but know. I mean, going I was, into... I was a fan, for, I was a closet fan because I wasn't allowed to play. But, I mean, yeah. going into my mom, you would literally know. play it in the closet. No, we didn't have that. We didn't have that kind of technology <laughs> in the closet. Also, my by the way, my mom doesn't know I watch the movies. So <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, going into a movie <laughs> called Mortal Kombat. You can't be like, all right, this this movie is Oscar worthy. I did like when Cole Young was like, well, they spelled it wrong. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The wall. I like that. Yeah, too. there was no part of this movie where I was like, that's not fucking believable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, yeah that, she, continuity Shane did not come out during like, Mortal Kombat. Oh, Kung Lao throws his hat at the ground and so it the just keeps spinning. So, the one thing I like, wanted to call out before we go is the final scene takes place in the original gym, but it decked out in ice. How fucking hard do you think that was to decorate? They didn't just cover everything in ice. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, right. What the gym? The no, gym, like head no to screen. toe, ice, ice everywhere. You don't think it was just green screen? No, he was literally getting thrown against the fence, and the fence was shaking off ice. I don't I, think that, that's pra- just, it's a lot, it's super like easy practice. It's the same shit that they did on Game of Thrones. They probably just like go in and spray like. I like to think that somebody shit. just dropped water and had a super ray like cold gun. It was just blasting. But it could everything. have been like. Do you, so you think it was like a freezer and they just sprayed a hose? But I everywhere? just think all. Of, I do this with movies. All of this work to build that set and then they just deck it out in ice and then they ruin so it. So that they can break it? Yeah. Yeah, but that's your job, you know? Yeah, true. It's how the dice it's fall, not, you know? It's not a bad job to have. It's how the bricklayers work. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> that's not a saying. It's it not, is that, now. That anyone's ever said, and I want that to fucking. <laughs> catch on so that's how the bricklayers get... hey man that's how the bri- that's how the bricklayers work how you lay them bricks you that's know? how the brick gets laid you know <laughs> there it is uh, <laughs> uh, now 
How, that's how the through. bricklayers work. Is the, <laughs> that's what I want. So you're saying the first way he said it was perfect already? Yes. Okay. That's how the brick gets laid. Makes sense. Yeah. That's how the bricklayers work. There's so much ambiguity there. That <laughs> really, like, are they working hard? Are they just? Are they doing a good job? Well, some is, people is, is he praising bricklayers? Is he <laughs> yeah. is he insulting them? So some people may listen to this episode and go, "Oh, wow, this is a little bit shorter than their standard," or some people might say, "Oh, you know, this step length's fine." That's how the bricklayers work, you know. <laughs> Can we have T-shirts made? <laughs> yeah. That's how the bricklayers work. Just... Recorded. That's how the no, bricklayers work. No, previously recorded dead. The podcast is just yeah. called "That's How the Bricklayers Work." <laughs> now it's we're brought to you by that whatever the bricklayer union is for the next six episodes. <laughs> Um, we the, are we the Bricklayers podcast now? Oh, that sounds dirty. Bricklayers, yeah. It sounds like we're either... I don't know what that sounds like. It sounds like we're <laughs> shitting, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're the Bricklayers that's podcast. Like there's like a very, it sounds like we're just taking like really solid shit. That's along. like that's like the, the thin line between laying pipe and like dropping pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One sounds like you're taking a mean shit. The other one's you're doing some work. Bricklayer sounds like you're taking like a solid shit. Like def- well, you definitely that's also don't that- think you have vaccinated COVID. But just like <laughs> for a GI issue. But that's just you know what I mean. Dummy. That's how the bricklayer works. All right. Um, before we go, two questions. Would you recommend this movie? And Absolutely. Would. Not to my mom. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What video game would you like to see made a movie next? Either taken seriously or in the Mortal Kombat fashion. Uh, I want to. I've. I have a joke answer that I'm going to give first, and then I'll think about my real answer. I want a very serious, Dig Dug. Oscar-worthy adaptation of Spyro the Dragon with David Spade voicing Spyro the Dragon. But it's it's just as boring as Spyro the Dragon, where you're just like collecting jewels the whole game. It's I really enjoyed playing Spyro the Dragon, but it's like it's not. I I enjoyed it as a kid, but then I got the remastered, and I'm like, you literally just collect jewels. Okay, so like, here's the thing, boring. but I want like it's Crash Bandicoot. But the movie, yeah. the movie is also accurate to the gameplay, where like you're like, I'm still missing a jewel, and so every once in a while they'll just go back and recap a bunch of stuff <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> just like, like, what am I missing? You're in a world where there's just nothing. You're, you're running around <laughs> yeah. like, where the fuck is this jewel? Yeah. <laughs> every once in a while, the spiral just stops. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. <laughs> but like. There's like he a, stops there's, and pulls out his phone and looks yeah, up where he, the jewels are. There's a ten minute pause where Fire was just standing there because you're looking on. Yeah. He's like, I, he's like, I thought I fucking got that yeah, one. The strategy guide comes out. Yeah, ah, oh, big strategy guide. Uh, shame. I would recommend this movie, but you have to go into it thinking it's ridiculous. Yeah. I would recommend if you're already a fan of Mortal Kombat, the games, like, yeah, go ahead because it's it's all fan service. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, kind of tekken just to get another more like another didn't they do a tekken arts. movie i don't think so they've done street fighter mm. they haven't done, i don't think they've done tekken interesting just to get another martial arts bullshit like fair ridiculous enough. movie fair enough bob what's your serious one i want to see them do a legitimate and like it, it would be a series of the legend of zelda hmm yeah, I'm surprised that hasn't happened. Yeah, I actually am too now that I like have like even animate it. it. Yeah. No, I would like like a live action and you could do like you, you could do a bunch of different games. Like you would start with Breath you know, Breath of the Wild you would be would probably last. start with but the first, but the first... Oracle of Time. Yeah. But like there's Legend of Zelda for like Super Nintendo. Um, you'd probably start with like Oracle or yeah, Ocar- tell that o- origin Oracle story. of Time, Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask could be like dark, like weird. Mm-hmm. Um, I would recommend this movie. It, like Shane said, it's dumb. Go into it. It's a good popcorn film, and you're going to see a lot of good action and cool stuff. Uh, the only thing I would take away from the movie is a lot of the scenes, I don't know if maybe if it was my stream, some of the action seemed a little jumpy, or like like Flip seemed like... Like, shake, like, like shaky cam? Not like shaky cam, but just looked like they skipped like, I had like a, an error in cutting, I editing the film. HBO Max, and I have these issues every once in a while with HBO Max... Where it goes to like almost like standard definition, mm. like yeah, I have that issue too. It's the loading. Yeah, like if I like, yeah. like when I fell asleep, legitimately, like I went back and then like for like, it's like you most of the time like it's there for a second, it goes away. It's like two minutes of the movie was like that's that's how um when when I was watching Harley Quinn, like the first like thirty seconds of the episode would be like grainy, yeah, and then it would load and it would be yeah. good. I'm a big HBO Max fan. I'm oh, yeah. glad they did I do it. like them. I actually, um, I actually really like. I use a lot. I watch a lot of things on there. Yeah, uh, they're going back to the only in theaters next year, though, so that's 
good well, too. But that was a really nice fuck them, and I take it back. That was a really you nice benefit I mean? they did. They shouldn't have um, done. They shouldn't have made me like them. The the series, the game that I would like to turn see turn into a movie or a series. The answer always Kingdom Hearts. I feel like that is built for to be a, a franchise. Yeah, that, that would have to be like a series, right? Because there's so many. You could games. do a movie. There's three. But there's a want, shit ton of series. You could do a Disney Plus series. do you want series, a series so, so they're not missing anything, though? Yeah, I the would. The problem with like, that is... Like, if you could go back and have Harry Potter be a series, would you want it to be a series? Square Enix. Square Enix. So, like... Disney would have to basically buy Square Enix, right? To, like... Because they're not just going to give those rights to those Well, guys. I mean, they, like, they just, like... Just like Square Enix had paid for the Disney rights, Disney would pay for the Square Enix rights. Okay. I would assume. But that's built for the taking. I heard there's a rumor on Disney Plus there is a show coming. So I would love to see that. Um, live action cartoon. Probably better off with the cartoon. But I live agree. action would be cool. But it would probably be kind if of you did like cheese live, dick. If you did like live action and then you did like Space Jam type, like when they went into Lion King, it's a cartoon. Yeah. That's exactly what I would – that's exactly what I th- – like you Space want, Jam trailer you is want, Kingdom Hearts. You want Sora to be a human. Yeah. But everything else is like cartoon. Yeah. Or, but, however it originally was. Yeah. Like – when when LeBron James throws like flows by those those planets, that's exactly how the planets like the the Game of Thrones world and the Wizard of Oz. That's exactly I how it looks like, like in Kingdom Hearts. Way too much time in Kingdom Hearts building my ship. No, the As if it ship. mattered at all. Well, it, if you were bad, the Kingdom Hearts three matters more because you have to do a little bit more battle. But yeah, that's I what I want. That one. So came out too late. All right, um, anything to plug? Uh, check the movie out. Plugged it last episode. Watch Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. I think Marvel what's recommended the next, it to me. What's the next HBO Max movie? Uh, we were watching it at Marvel's. Episode. I don't know what the next HBO Max movie is. I, I'll look real quick. Hopefully quick. another 40 Mortal Kombat movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while Bob's looking that up, I'm just going to plug real quickly the Gateway Gamers podcast. Uh, by this point, we should have two episodes up, plus our episode zero. Just check it as, out. As a real person and not a paid actor, um, who also has no interest in in board games i did actually enjoy oh, thank that you. episode a lot yeah thanks we uh we apparently we got an, an a invitation well, to to play test a game that's actually like you guys are also you're you're having way more success after one episode than we have after what 50 <laughs> it's all marvel man yeah, it's, well, it's a different medium too. a lot of like what? what people what people have said about us where it's like it's just mm-hmm. friends hanging out talking yeah. that's how you guys feel when you're yeah. when you're talking about the board games, yeah, that's good so stuff. So we got those who wish me dead, which is an Angelina Jolie movie. Not watching. Uh, the Conjuring, the Devil Made that's right. Me Do It. Mm-hmm. Not watching. I'm absolutely watching that. I love the Conjuring I don't movies. Care I'll probably Conjuring. I'll watch that Angelina Jolie I movie. Conjuring. And then I in, just love anything horror. In the Heights is June. Yep, I do want to see that. Yeah, I know RP. I'll <clears throat> I'll watch that if you want to do an episode for In the Heights. Sure, I'll, Audra would love that. What's in the uh, she's not invited. It's a <laughs> it's a Lin Manuel Miranda musical. Okay, his we first see, one. We saw a trailer in theaters for it for sure. If I okay. yeah, Anthony trailer, Ramos was in it. So. And then July is Space Jam. Yep. Oh, look out for our Space Jam episode and coming then later. August us oh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, which I'm gonna go to the theaters to see that though for sure. All right, uh, guys, remember to rate, like, and subscribe. Like we said, if you have a Mortal Kombat review, leave it in the con- leave a rating with the Mortal Kombat review, and it'll be really funny. Uh, but leave us five stars and people are like yeah totally brutal action movie love it people will be very confused it'll be funny please yeah, send me give us these. five stars <laughs> and then rate this episode your rating for the Mortal Kombat review yes no 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 no. leave it a five star but then leave your verbal that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying yeah so five stars and then be like loved Kong love Lu. the finisher like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we would love if you guys would do that alright guys thanks for listening and have a great night this is a song for the ladies but fellas, listen closely. You don't always have to fuck her hard. In fact, sometimes that's not right to do. Sometimes you got to make some love and fucking give her some smooches too. Sometimes you got to squeeze. Sometimes you got to say please. Sometime you got to say, hey, I'm gonna fuck you softly. 
I'm gonna screw you gently I'm gonna hump you sweetly I'm gonna ball you discreetly And then you say, hey, I brought you flowers And then you say, wait a minute, Sally I think I got something in my teeth Could you get it out for me? That's fucking teamwork What's your favorite position? That's cool with me It's not my favorite But I'll do it for you What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it But I'll order it from Zanzibar And then I'm gonna love you completely And then I fucking fuck you discreetly And then I fucking bone you completely But then I'm gonna fuck 